Hickok 45 here. You know, we're going to be talking about a really small pistol today. It, it's nice in the cooler weather, winter months uh, especially, isn't it? Uh, particularly if you live up north, you're always wearing an outer garment or quite often it's uh, not a problem to wear whatever firearm you want to. If, you know, you're allowed where you live to carry a firearm. And uh, I find that in the wintertime, fall, uh, even early spring as it is right now, I can get by with carrying just about anything I want to. For example, you know, something on the shoulder if I want to, in my handy dandy Diamond D custom shoulder holster rig, <laughs> which I really like. Been having a little uh, back pain lately and that has really been the ticket. Just keep it pointed that way. That's only about shoulder holsters, a little, a little nervous. And I could even wear something like that, can I? To be careful not to show my Homer boxer shorts here. And so we've got a Glock uh, game face holster, nice holster. Appreciate them sitting there. So let's get myself dressed up here again. And uh, but yeah, in the in the cooler months, carry is just not a problem. I mean, it's a breeze. Any number of thousands of holsters will will serve you well, won't they? As many of you have found out already. But but when it gets into this warm weather, and I'm even less dressed, got my shorts on and t-shirts it becomes a bigger issue and then yeah, you know, then you have to be more selective don't you then you have to have something you might want that will fit in your pocket <laughs> like a glock 42 which is the subject of this video uh chapter two we have fired it i have fired it all regularly since i got it uh Seems like every couple of days. I'll come out and just fire it a few times, simple enough, whenever I think about it. Uh, one day I went through maybe five or six or seven magazines. Don't have a, a lot of 380 ammo, but I've tried to fire it regularly, especially with hardball, okay? And then you have seen, I know you have, the first video we did with it, where we shot some uh, hollow points and different things. I think we shot the gold dot. I forget what else we did. I had to look at the video, right? Doesn't matter because yesterday I got it out knowing we we're going to put it through its paces on camera again for a chapter two. And I fired a variety of carry ammo. Uh, well, I say carry ammo. A lot of people just carry hardball in a 380. You know, I mean, you're not exactly going to stop an elephant with a 380, whatever ammo you have in it. And, you know, penetration might be the most important thing. And that's another argument for another day, maybe Thursday. Right? Uh, but if you want to carry a hollow point, uh, then, and a lot of people do, uh, I, what I've been doing for the last, uh, well, I don't know, weeks is accumulating uh, some, some carry, different varieties of carry. And whenever I see a box in a shop, which, you know, is not easy to find, is it? I, I'll pick it up. I've picked up uh, several kinds. I'll show you here what I have. Uh, or John will show you, I won't. There's what I have, plus the buffalo bore, of course. And I have fired all of this <laughs> and in anticipation of this video. I uh, don't have everything represented, but I'm not sure that's as important as maybe just a, a wide cross section and just seeing what does work. For example, if half of these don't work and half do, that tells us something. We want to be careful about what we buy for this baby if you have one of these. If they all work, yeah, that tells us something. That it's not too finicky, right? Well, we have discovered, all of us, if you have one of these, I'm sure you've been uh, firing at some, and uh, I have been checking the wire, that internet thing that's on my computer all the time, and seeing what people are saying. And as you know, there are some people having some trouble with them. I had a little hang up in uh, the video we did, you know, with the buffalo bore. I put uh, an explanation from the owner of the company in the description of that video. You check that out. He indicated that, you know, with the hotter ammo like this, the plus P, sometimes uh, his, his thinking was that the uh, slide lock spring was not strong enough on, on some of the uh, little 380 pocket pistols. I've seen people online talking about uh, the the contour of the bullet being really a factor when you when you load it and there's just not being enough space uh, between the bullet and the slide lock uh, lever I guess in there and everything and how that is a bigger issue in terms of the slide locking back prematurely we've I've not had any function problems I might today 
in terms of the round not feeding, you know, those kinds of things that we all hate with, with semi-automatics, we don't want to ever see, right? Especially at the wrong time. Uh, not had that with this. We just had the slide locking back, you know, with ammo still in the in the magazine. So, and I understand some other people are having that too with certain kinds of ammo. So that's the thing to watch out for. Of course, and that doesn't disturb me as much, as long as I know what's which ammos or brands cause that, uh, as much as you know, if every other carry ammo that you try it hangs up on the feed ramp you know i don't like that at all i know you don't either so anyway uh some mixed reports uh you'll uh, kind of like with a lot of guns and especially glocks you'll run into people on the internet that can't get the thing to function that you know it's malfunctioning all the time on them and uh and other people will will be they don't have any problem with mine at all you know so you're getting mixed reviews i've not had any problem you have seen the one problem i had in, in the other video with the buffalo bore. So I don't carry buffalo bore, need I tell you that? <laughs> that? So that's the only problem I've had with this particular gun and these two particular magazines. I think if you recall, if I recall, I think I marked that magazine in the video or right after it uh, when I, uh, cause I thought, well, maybe the magazine, but it's not, it was the ammo. But I did mark it again. I got two marks on that for another reason. Yesterday when I came out and I fired I fired six rounds of each one of these. I didn't redo the buffalo bore because I think that one's kind of out of the picture for carry. I mean, I've, I've seen other people say they had the same uh, experience with it, so like, why bother? Uh, I mean, it's good ammo, but not for this, this gun. I fired six rounds from each one of these yesterday. They're all new boxes. And, uh, and I even I made sure I did it with the same magazine because I was going to do some of that today. And just, you know, I don't know, just like, why not? Just to eliminate any of the possibilities. And then I've got hardball in, in this one. And speaking of that, let's take a couple more shots. So before I put some of that in, to make sure it works, let's see if I can hit him. Now, I like this. I've got the real uh, talon grips on it. Uh, they, I had a kind of a jury rig set on there before, and it, it feels even better. Covers down here where I like it covered. So fits the hand well, but it's a thin little pistol, and it's so easy to pull left. I mean, it just really is. I, I will do it quite often, I'm sure, today. <laughs> it's like those first two shots were just barely to the left of the two liter. Of course, you know what I'm always doing. I mean, a pistol like this is for up close and dirty. Uh, I'm always shooting at further range than you really need to. That's okay. If you can hit something at 50 yards or 50 feet or 80 yards with it, then you can probably hit something at, at five or seven, right? Okay, let's just dig into a little of this stuff here. Uh, now you notice I, I, I pull it out of my pocket and I was gonna talk about holsters too a little bit here because I have uh, recently discovered another holster. I, Alabama holster is supposed to be sending me one. I haven't gotten it yet. This one came, uh, someone sent me this uh, because they had two of them. It's a multi holster, I believe. Doesn't have the name on it anywhere, but I think that's what it is. And it, it works fine. I know that everybody's scurrying around trying to find the right holster for one of these things. That one feels pretty good. This one is a weird looking thing from Recluse Holsters. And uh, I actually met the guy gave me a couple of these things. I wasn't sure about them. I posted on Facebook, you might have seen that. They look kind of weird, but they, they actually work. Uh, you just reach in there, pull it out you know, in your pocket. It's designed not to print, you see? And uh, I've been carrying that for two or three weeks, I guess. And I like it just fine. I just thought that, you know, I know you're, you're looking for holsters and there's always a lot of holsters. You just reach down, pull it out. It doesn't come out with the gun and it works fine, what can I say? Now you do need to obviously with any of these uh, pull the holster out before you reholster. Uh, if you are taking a little pocket gun that's loaded, this one is definitely unloaded, and you're sticking that in your pocket and trying to get it in the holster, whew, I don't know about that. I would not do that. Okay, back to. But anyway, these are these are pretty nice. Uh, Recluse is the name on that. Uh, I've got one for the PM9 there. They're a little different. Uh, but uh, I have really uh, learned to like them a lot. Uh, pocket holsters, pocket guns, as I've said many times, ups the ante. Ups the ante. You've got to really uh, uh, search and, and get something that works for you because you're talking about a small space and uh, something that can give you problems. Now these are some civil defense and uh, there's probably no need to go. I, I shot six from each of these and I think what I'll do, 
is I will put three of the civil defense in here and I'll put three of something else just so we don't have to do this all night but I wanted to show you these are 380 grain or 380 auto of all things 50 grain now that one I thought I might have trouble with 50 grains is very light but since 5 uh, 1500 feet per second so that apparently makes up for it I had no trouble with them yesterday okay shot six they worked did I get the right mag? No. There I go using the same mag. I was going to use the other mag thing just to throw in another variable. So let's do that. No trouble yesterday. All six fed and worked. So I'll put them back in the same box so we don't get them corn fused here at all. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some golden saber in. I shot golden saber yesterday. They worked fine. They'll all make a liar out of me today, probably. But that's why I wanted to do it two days in a row. And I thought, well, I can I can do it off video and then do it on video rather than take the I wouldn't be able to take the time, probably do it you know two or three times on video. Okay, so we got the first three rounds are golden saber. The next three are the uh, civil defense. Okay, it went into battery okay with golden saber. And let's just pop a couple here. Golden Saber, a cowboy. There we go. Okay, fed all those just fine. No problems. Just like it did yesterday. Okay. So that's that's good. That's a good thing. On two different days, two different magazines. Because uh, you know how Murphy is. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't seem to want to work. Let's uh, let's see. Critical defense is really popular. A lot of, I, I like that pretty well. A lot of people use it and carry it. And I think I have read, I had to chew this up a little bit before I figured out how to open uh, the Federal Low Recoil. Did I figure it out? No. All right. You should have seen me with my pocket knife ripping into that yesterday. Okay. Let's get uh, three of the Federal. Okay. And these are 90 grain Hydra Shock Classic. Those things have been around forever, haven't they? I picked those up somewhere, and a federal is going to furnish some hollow points and everything. I bought these a while back, I guess. And then federal, uh, in fairness to them, has donated. Now, I've gotten some hardball ammo, which we're shooting. What we're shooting uh, in hardball uh, today is the, the American Eagle that, that they furnished and, and sent me. So that's great. I appreciate that. But as I told them, we would occasionally be doing ammo tests on different things, and on a gun like this, we want to use a variety of ammo from lots of different companies and make sure it works. So the first three are critical duty. The next three are hydro shocks. All right, some ears on. Let's try these. Now I'm not testing for accuracy. My gosh, see my accuracy video. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, let's just shoot something uh, here that needs to be shot. All right, those were the critical defense, right? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> and hydro shocks, they all work. Okay, none of this ammo has made a liar out of me yet. They all worked yesterday. They're working again on a different day, different humidity, uh, different temperature, different magazine. Don't you love that? Okay, now this one is one I found Barnes, Tack. XPD, TAC, XPD, defense ammunition. Okay, now these are 80 grain. Let's try these. Now, I had a little uh, adventure with these yesterday. I'll tell you that. We'll wait and see if it happens again. Uh, I won't say what it is. John knows what it is. Pretty bullets. I mean, it's cool, isn't it? Like gunmetal uh, gray. Anything that's gunmetal gray uh, is pretty good. I think that's why, yeah, that's why I like that gray on my ridgeline one. <laughs> it's kind of a gunmetal. Okay. I really don't need to put that many in there. You'll see why. Unless it does make a liar out of me. Okay. All right. Now, this first one will shoot just fine. In fact, I'll try to hit the uh, orange two later. Uh, barely missed it. Oh, look what happened. See, told you there was some adventure with these. 
Let's take that one out. What I discovered yesterday, that's the first time it even got that far. I was not even getting the slide back at all. No, at least it's, it's hanging up today. <laughs> wasn't getting that far. The brass was not even getting out of the uh, chamber yesterday. So, don't really need to shoot too many of those, do I? Uh, it'll take one more. It's a waste of time. All right. Nice. At least we got a nice fountain out of it. Now, see, that one didn't even cut. Well, it did. Okay. So, uh, I shot five or six. I think I had six in the magazine yesterday with those. And every single time, it... it it, it did nothing you know i didn't know what was happening i clicked shot it again and clicked it's because the old brass was still in the chamber so i'm not sure what the reason is it's 80 grains uh that's with both magazines both days different barometer readings <laughs> would not carry that in my glock 42 if i were you unless you are going to stop whatever needs to be stopped with one shot talk about one shot stop that's what it is they should have put that on the box one shot stop now nah, maybe I should make fun of the ammo. I, I don't know. Maybe in uh, something else it would work fine. So just keep that in mind for the Glock 42. You don't want it. You don't want it. And, all right. So that duplicates what I was getting yesterday. So now we've got some dynamic research technologies ammo found. DRT, 85 grain hollow points, and we have some elite performance ammunition from Sig. Who knew? I thought they were busy making guns. Here they are making ammo. Wow, not a bad idea these days. Isn't it? Okay, where's my mags? Is that it? No, it's stuck in my pocket, I think. Yeah. All right, so we'll put the uh, dynamic re oh, get those things out of there. The dynamic research uh, technologies DRT in first. Put three of those in, and then three of the elite performance ammo from SIG. Okay, now you help me remember what's on top and everything because I forget the time I close the slide. Not too bright. All right. Got the SIG first. Uh, well, maybe I can uh, put another hole in that two liter. Looks like it needs one. There we go. Okay, that was the SIG. Here comes the DRT. It worked. All right. Don't you love it when something is consistent? Okay, that's exactly pretty much what happened yesterday. Different ammo, or different magazine rather. And uh, just wanted to verify it. So. For me, as I say, uh, I know some people are having issues with different ammos and uh, chime in on the comments on ammo that, that you have had trouble with. But uh, of all of these, and whenever I shoot them, and I've shot the critical defense uh, several times. I've shot gold dot in the other video. We can run a couple through today, but uh, you know, it's all working, you know, except for this one I found, the Barnes. So Hydroshock works, uh, no problem. Gold dot, I think I fired in the last video, didn't I? And uh, let's put three of those through just to complete the experiment. Uh, let's go way out there for fun. <laughs> I think I might have touched it on the last one. Okay, so they work too. All right, it is a, it, uh, that might have been a little tedious, but those uh, are what I could find. It is a carry pistol, and many, many people, uh, even though it's a 380, are going to carry, you know, a hollow point probably. You, know, you just feel better about carry ammo. It's, it may not be any better than the hardball, but you, you just tip, typically want to carry, carry ammo. I, I'm kind of that way myself. Uh, so that, that all worked. Um, now we just maybe shake a couple of shots, have some fun. But I wanted to make sure in this chapter too that we did some testing uh, for you. And I, like I say, I've had this in mind for for weeks, been uh, on my radar, keeping my eye out for 
for carry ammo on 380. And as you know, it's hard to find any ammo on 380. It, it just really is. I have gone in several gun shops just like you have. Any 380? Of course, most people are look, just looking for some hard balls. They can go shoot their gun. But uh, I've had some luck because I was looking for the high dollar stuff. You know, you know, this carry stuff is whatever, 20, 25, 26 bucks a, a, a crack, you know, usually. And uh, put that together. And some of you also, we don't want to bash, uh, you know, Barnes is a, a highly reputable company. Uh, they make some of the best bullets on the market, bar none. They really do. And uh, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Some of y'all might have some insight into why that is the way it is in a Glock. Uh, so, again, that's a great company. You know, Barnes Bullets doesn't get any better than that. But for some reason, the, uh, you know, this is not so hot, you know, for <laughs> literally, right, and figuratively for this particular gun. Because that, that and the Buffalo Boar are the only things, uh, ammo that I have any issues with. Now, now we'll probably have some, and, and I have these other hardball, you know, I have, uh, I've shot PMC, I've shot almost a box of that, I've shot, I guess, a box of, of the Blazer, I've shot two or three mags of uh, the Fiocchi, and a bunch of the PPU, and then uh, basically emptied a box of uh, the American Eagle and again I've not had any trouble with any of those now we might today but I have not so I'm sorry uh, if uh, you're having trouble with your Glock 42 uh, I've been lucky this is pretty cool that the recluse guy makes these too for them. this is actually not the one for the uh, this particular mag but it's a close fit so you can put that in your pocket not get so much lint in it maybe all right what are we going to do? Like I say, it, it's a really tough gun not to pull left, but what it's designed for, of course, is up close and dirty. And uh, when you've got a piece of pan that's threatening you, and you're, uh, let's say you're, uh, you're walking out to the, the, the parking garage, it's late at night or something, you don't have anything else. And, and you're not really expecting anything, but there's some kind of shady looking character over there. So your hand just begins to go in your pocket. Is that somebody over there? Yeah, it's a pizza pan. Who wants to get me? I mean, it's, it's designed for that close and dirty shooting, of course. As we all know, not a pleasant thought. Uh, it's not designed for what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to hit a pig over there. See if I can come close to it. Oh, man. Uh, but I mean they're all right in the vicinity even of the pig. That's what I like. I like little guns that are designed. We'll just load a couple more here and we'll keep you all day. I know you've got a lot, a lot of places you need to get to. Some of you have dates. Some of you need to eat. You're hungry. Uh, you're just tired of watching YouTube videos. All that kind of thing. But my experience with the gun, I've been carrying it since I got it. Partly just because I really wanted to get a feel for it and uh, see how you know, it works and what I think about it. That's why I've been carrying it in this holster you know, I've got it in. I wanted to get a feel for that. Yeah, I, I just experiment with things like this if it's that uh, important to me. It's important to me, even if it's not to you guys. If it's important to me, it ought to be important to you guys. Come on. So uh, I've, been, I've been pretty pleased with, I know one of the things people keep saying, and, and they're correct in a lot of ways, it should have been a nine millimeter. I've said it myself, but bear in mind, if it's a nine, it's going to really be snappy, extremely so, because it's a very light gun, very thin slide. And of course the grip's going to be bigger. It's, it's going to be thicker. If you look at your little, like the little diamond back and some of these little pistols like this that are really small, you know, that front of that grip is out to here a little bit further. It's just, it's just, kind of weird looking you know it because it's got handle that nine millimeter cartridge so you're gonna have a bigger grip and and i would want a little bit heavier slide or a bigger slide not a lot bigger but a little bit bigger i don't know i don't know it depends on how it feels when you shoot it of course all right let's shoot a couple more uh and see if i forgot any other lies i want to tell you i don't know you know i'm not sure we've hit the gong we've got to do that at least with one to tell oh 
Okay, I heard it that time. <laughs> nice. Feels good. It really feels a lot better than you would think if you've not shot one of these. It just feels better than it really ought to. Okay, let's let's take a couple of shots here. We left anything seriously uh, unscathed? I guess not. Uh, I mean, for its uh, purpose, what this gun is designed for, not bad at all, really. If if you can live with a 380. So my experience with the Glock 42 at this point has been pretty positive. Uh, I feel for you fellows and gals uh, who have one and you're in trouble with it, but it's, it's working fine for me, except for the ammo that I discussed. And uh, uh, it even seems to feed about everything. So anyway, a little more experience, uh, a little more information about good old Glock 42. Life is good.